I understand you now. You killed my father and kidnapped me from Kashyyyk, not just to be your apprentice, but to be a son to you. Was that how your father treated you? Galen Marek, to Darth Vader for much of his life as Starkiller, Marek lived in fear and terror of Vader. Having experienced nothing but Vader's cruel treatment, Starkiller thought of it as only natural, especially for the development of a Sith. Learn, or die was what he took from it. He invested a great deal of trust and loyalty in the Dark Lord, coming to fear failing his master more than death. His subjugation to Vader even displayed itself in his voice and manner, as he affected a formalized and faintly aristocratic accent whenever he was in Vader's presence, in stark contrast to his usual behavior. He was left deeply shocked by Vader's betrayal of him, and only reluctantly agreed to re-enter his service. Left distrustful of his master, and developing compassion for his allies, Marek began to genuinely consider betraying him in turn by using the rebellion to take revenge and then take over the galaxy for himself. However, Marek still believed that Vader's mission for him was genuine, and pragmatically judged that Vader wouldn't risk losing another chance to assassinate Emperor Palpatine. He was left shocked and enraged when Vader betrayed him again, this time actively seeking to kill him. However, as Marek fought Vader, he realized that his master was a product of the same manipulations and abuse as he himself was, thus causing Marek to pity Vader rather than continuing to hate him. Thus, Marek resolved to end the Sith Lord's life as an act of mercy, freeing him from an even greater source of torment, Palpatine.